Right, so here's a question I've probably been getting the most over the past couple of videos, especially with all the new e-bike content. What is the best pit bike? Where should I spend my money? What should I buy? Should I buy a pit bike? Should I buy a Surround? Should I buy some other e-bikes on the market? In this video, I'm going to kind of give you my opinion on it, what I think you should buy if you can get your hands on one of these things, and kind of what is the best bang for your buck and where you should put your money into. Since this is strictly like the best e-bike to buy, we're not really going to cover um, a Surround versus a pit bike. I kind of did that in my last video if you didn't see that. All if you can find one you can they're kind of floating around if you're in the Alta forums if you really want to have a full electric dirt bike obviously the Suron you can just order online and then we have some other pedal assist um, electric mountain bikes these are kind of uh, obviously the fat wheel versions I have two of them right here and then I guess I can also mention like a pedal assist um, downhill mountain bike pedal assist mountain bike this isn't one but it's essentially the same thing the cranks right there whatever you want to call it by the sprocket um, where it would be pedal assisted similar to these e-bikes right here these are actually these are actually hub motor those um obviously a totally different setup but before we get into that i want to announce i'm giving away a brand new suron x black edition i'm going to ship it right to your door every five dollars spent gives you one entry to win a brand new suron no not my personal suron but like i said um, it just makes more sense for me to ship it directly to the winner. I mean, not ship it to me, then ship it to you and just waste a bunch of time and shipping and it'll just waste a bunch of time. Basically, like I said, every $5 spent gives you one entry to win a brand new Suron X shipped right to your door. Top link in the description to my website. This is only going to go on for roughly two weeks. So if you want something, I'd get on it now before we're sold out on some stuff. Um, everything's discounted right now. Everything's very limited, low stock and everything. If you want something, I would get it now before you miss your opportunity to one, get some merch and two, potentially win a brand new Suron. Think it could get better than that. You get a free Suron essentially, little as $5 shipped right to your door. I'm probably going to announce the winner first on my Instagram, so if you don't follow me, it's just at Tyler Monaghan. So top link in the description to my website. If you want to check it out, get some merch, get an entry, and uh, let's get into what I think the best e-bike is. I guess we'll start with the Alta. I wish I could actually ride it in this video, but unfortunately, this thing has a flat tire. I actually just got the tube in today, so I got to swap that out along with putting a new tire on here, but I'm going to insert some clips over the past few years of this thing. Haven't made a lot of content with it recently. This is pretty much the best e-bike electric dirt bike on the market. One of the only electric dirt bikes on the market. I've seen Honda, Yamaha kind of release a mock-up or concept bike. More the Honda um, I saw a while ago. I'll definitely be purchasing that if that ever gets released, but for the time being, this is the only legitimate electric dirt bike on the market. Um, I'm really comparing this in the same category because they're relatively, or were relatively the same price. Three, four years ago, I picked this up for, I believe, 7,000, 7,500 bucks. And that being about 4,500 bucks, give or take, after shipping and taxes. So other e-bike called the Kuberg, um, which I also want to get and compare to the Suron, um, which is like $8,000 to have like 55 miles an hour. Uh, basically a beefed up Suron. So basically like a downhill mountain bike fully legitimate, way beefier parts. If you wanna see videos of that, let me know in the comments. The power on this thing compared to the Suron, honestly, I think in power mode one, as far as the torque, it's pretty similar to the Suron. It's kind of hard to compare because the power to weight ratio is obviously different. This weighing like, I don't know, as much as a 350 or 450 full-size dirt bike, and that weighing, what, 80 pounds? So it's kind of a little bit different comparison, but obviously in mode two through four, it's a whole nother animal of things insane as you're seeing from these videos if you've never seen an Alta before. This being, I think, one of the most fun bikes that I even own. Um, pretty much can ride it anywhere like the Suron. It is kind of limited to me personally. I feel like um, as far as getting away with stuff, this obviously looks like a legitimate dirt bike where that is kind of like a bicycle nobody really bats an eye at this where like i said this people are like whoa what's that like why isn't it making noise they obviously expect to hear noise out of the thing and it doesn't make any noise draws a lot more attention as i've seen and just isn't as discreet and low-key so you really can't get away with as much on this thing as you can that that's why i kind of would ding a couple points on this thing why to maybe get the surround over this but it really comes down to what you want to do with it where you want to ride what you want to do with the thing so this, I think, as far as before pricing, now they're probably like 10, 11, maybe 12,000 for a used one. I don't think it's worth it to actually get this over a Suron if you just want to bomb around the streets, bomb around the city. Um, say two of your friends get them and you bomb around. I think this is the best bang for your buck, is being the most legitimate full like Brembo brakes, WP suspension, 
a legit bike. If you have the funds, I'd recommend getting an Alta if you can find one. But not everyone has 10,000 to just throw at an electric dirt bike that um, is kind of niche now and hard to find parts. And that's the main thing. If you could find parts for it that were available, it'd be a different story um, to pick up one. But with the parts support and having to go through different people to find parts, it's kind of annoying. So moving down to the Suron, the most fun I've had in a while besides the e-bike when I first got that. Um, because I actually, like I used to say this before, you can ride this anywhere. This thing you can actually ride wherever you want, whenever you want. This is completely silent essentially where this kind of makes some noise as you've heard. Got more tire noise, chain noise, motor noise, and this having the obviously chain drive and then it has a belt drive which actually goes off the motor. So it kind of eliminates a lot of the sound coming off this thing. I know you can upgrade the belt drive system in here to another chain drive that goes directly to the motor which I was looking into um, that I didn't know you could upgrade because some people say that these belts can snap on you and wear out. God forbid it breaks on the trail and leaves me stranded. It would be kind of annoying so eventually once it's in stock, um, a lot of the parts for this thing is out of stock right now which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna upgrade to chain drive. I'm gonna have like a top five upgrades video coming soon once we get the rest of the parts in for this thing. But as far as upgradeability, um, this is the way to go for aftermarket support. You can upgrade the batteries, the controllers, change every single part out on this thing essentially. New suspension, it's all downhill mountain bike parts. Swap the battery for a 72 volt, upgrade the controller, and this thing will probably go faster than the Alta because that thing I think maxes out at 70, 68 miles an hour. And you could do 80, 90, 100 miles an hour with a Suron with it properly tuned or properly, whatever you want to say, with the right parts and controllers and everything. So things faster than the Alta. I'm sure you could tune this somehow, but I don't want to jeopardize ruining this thing at this point because it's kind of a unique one-off dinosaur, like one of one. There's only like maybe less than a thousand made. And then moving down the line to these pedal assist bikes or in a pedal assist mountain bike. Um, I'm going to go down the line and then do a little recap. Things are pretty much good for a girlfriend, mother, uh, friends that don't know how to ride bikes, <laughs> um, just want to cruise around. These are the perfect bike for that. Um, they're not too fast. They go 20 miles an hour, pedal assist, or just twist the throttle and they go. Fancy little display. You can up the modes right here, put it in power mode 5, and then I'll just twist the throttle. And this thing goes on you. It'll last like up to 55 miles, I think. I'm just trying to cruise around. Money, I think they're like 1,500 bucks. Guess they're the way to go. Say the whole family had one. And a pedal assist mountain bike would be the same thing. Um, those are actually more expensive or just as expensive as the Alta. So I wouldn't really recommend that. I'd rather get a Suron for less money and have just as much fun personally. If somebody wanted to send me a pedal assist mountain bike, I wouldn't say no, but I wouldn't go out of my way and spend eight to ten thousand for a pedal assist downhill mountain bike so overall i think the way to go for the best bang for your buck is the suron because personally um you can get away with more you can ride different places than you can that if you already have a dirt bike then i would just stick with that and then get a suron and if your budget is say you were going to spend the eight to ten thousand for an alta i'd rather just pick up two surons and have a friend to ride with because that's way more fun than riding alone and just having one e-bike so if you want to spend eight thousand nine thousand two surrounds the way to go ride any trails around your house any trails wherever cruise around the city cruise around wherever you want day or night and uh have way more fun than not way more fun they're kind of a different type of fun this is like legitimate you take to the track and spank for your buck the Suron, definitely the way to go and I'm sure a lot of you have seen from the past few Suron videos, or if you've done some research, watch other videos. This thing's a blast. Upgrades for these things, you can make it just as good as this. Um, like I said, if you want to win a Suron, top link in the description to my website. Every $5 spent gives you one entry to win this thing. So it ends in two weeks from today, like I said. So I'd get on it if you don't want to miss your opportunity to win one of these things. This thing now, especially after cutting the wire, is a lot torquier. It'll actually like spin the wheel right off the start versus before it didn't. It would just cut the power when you pulled the brake and actually unplugging the brake sensors here. So those few little upgrades, if you watch my past couple videos, you know how to do that. And then a little throttle spin the back tire like the Alta will. So if you're new, make sure you're subscribed, like the video. If you want to see me pick the winner, I'm probably going to post it on my Instagram first. So if you don't follow me, it's just at Tyler Monaghan. Don't miss your chance. With that, I'm going to end this video here and I'll see you guys in the next one.